Hello everyone, in this video, I'll be showing you on how to manage the users of MariaDB using PHP MyAdmin. So, let's start by creating a new user account. All you need to do is to open PHP MyAdmin and then click User Accounts. Then it will show you the existing accounts for your MariaDB. So to create an account, just click the this link, add user account. Then fill out the information. Okay, so let's say for example, we'll be naming it as admin. And then the host, just select local. And then for the password, you can, you can create your own or you can generate your password so let's say let's generate a password and then copy the password that was created then you can create the account uh, without any privileges or you can set already the privileges take note these privileges will be applied globally that means all of the database on your PHP by admin so if you want to create a user that is specific for a database or for a while for a single database let's say for example this admin has only a, an access to DB attendance just click go without selecting any privileges in the global privileges then click go then don't save okay so the user was created so we can check that by clicking the user accounts so admin already exists on our list then let's try to edit the privileges and we're going to apply it in a specific database so you have an option here let's say global database change password and the login information so all you need to do is to choose the database and then select the database that you are going to grant to that user so click go we will be directed to the privilege so in here you can uh, select the privilege you want to apply for this database so just click the privileges that you want to apply let's say for the level so you're going to select all the privileges under data and then the rest will not be selected and then click go Then we are able to grant the privileges to the admin localhost for the DB attendance. So to check this, okay, we'll be using the Heidi SQL as our IDE for the MariaDB. So we're going to disconnect that and then will be creating a new connection so we'll be deleting that then we'll be creating a new connection let's say for example system and then the name of the or the username is admin and the password is the password that we have copied then open connection then as you can see only the DB attendance will appear on the list because we only allow admin admin to DB attendance so if you want to add more database for that admin account let's go back to PHP my admin and then let's go to user accounts and then we we just need to edit the privileges 
And then under database, let's add dbcrad for example. And then the same, all the privileges under data. Then go. Then let's check again to our uh, Heidi SQL IDE. We're going to refresh that. Then, as you can see, this administrator will have an access to dbcrad and it's all tables. Okay? So that is how we're going to uh, manage, especially in creating and adding privileges to a specific user. So also, you can change your password by clicking the user accounts and then edit privileges and then go to change password tab then you can type your own password okay so that's all thank you for watching see you on our next videos god bless